Hey guys, I'm in my car. We're not driving, it's parked. But I figured I would, whoa, that was really bouncy, sorry. I figured I would share something with you that I'm going through because it might help you. There's gonna be a lot of extra emotion going around. Some of us are scared and afraid. Some of us are angry. Some of us are sad or feeling hopeless. And those are hard emotions to deal with. For you guys as kids, for your parents as adults, because they're also worried about you. So here's something I got to do. I didn't think it was gonna be a great opportunity. Carpet and upholstery cleaner. Not a brand placement. Although I think it works okay. You guys may have figured out, I'm not always the cleanest or neatest person. I'm okay with a little bit of mess. And most of the time, that's okay. But this car is leased, which means we have to give it back. And we have to give it back in a couple of weeks, which means it needs to be cleaned. William and I were out here yesterday wiping and cleaning and spraying upholstery cleaner and rubbing in circles until our elbows hurt. And today we're doing it again to get the second layer of stains off. So here's my suggestion. If you've got some extra emotion, you just don't know what to deal with, see if your parents need some help cleaning something. Do it yourself. It's kind of what we're learning in Sunday school this month. Well, we're learning about forgiveness with a do-it-yourself theme. But in doing something to help someone else, it's a safe and effective way to get your own emotions out. And you're doing good at the same time. Maybe you're doing a lot of good by helping the relationship by getting rid of your emotions earlier than letting them boil and build up and explode. So I'm here. Uh, maybe I need to do it this way. Squishing foam rubbing in circles and rubbing and rubbing and rubbing and wiping and rubbing and wiping and rubbing until all the stains I let accumulate get done and clean so we can give it back in good condition. That's my thought for today. I hope you guys are having a good day trying to figure out how to do school from home new schedules, new stuffs. Hey, have your parents reach out to me by email if you guys got questions on something, okay? I love you and hopefully we get to see each other again soon. Talk to you later. Bye.